Hey guys, it's Tony, and welcome back to my channel, Happy Healthy Herbivore. For this week's video, I decided to share with you guys a recipe, and that recipe is for the perfect fall salad. I personally think it's perfect, I'm obsessed with it, I eat it several times a week. I can't wait to share it with you guys, so let's get started. All the ingredients out here, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but we'll figure it out as we go. Um, there might seem like there's a lot of different ingredients and components and steps to this salad, but it is absolutely perfect. I love it. It's so worth it when it's done and you can make enough to last you a couple days, which is what I do. So let's get into it. Okay, so now that we have all of our components laid out, I'm going to go through them one by one just so you guys know exactly what's going into this salad. So for the base, we are going to be doing a spinach and kale mix. I would usually do arugula with this salad because I think that's what makes it like perfect, but I don't have arugula on hand, which is super upsetting, and I'm trying to not let it get to me, but you know, I just really wish I had some arugula, but we're going to move on because we don't. So other than that, you're going to be using some fresh parsley or cilantro or both and throw it in the salad to give it that extra flavor. As far as fresh veggies, we have a cucumber, a red onion, and then there's a tomato here, and then we have the star of the show, which is the butternut squash, which is where the fall comes in. It's such a fall staple and I love it and you can just roast it up and it is enough for this salad and more so you can have leftovers for the rest of the week which is great. And then as far as the grain, I'm going to be using red quinoa. You can totally use any type of grain, plain quinoa, rice, whatever you like. I'm just using this because I like the color and I also like the taste. So. After that, you're going to be adding some beans. I'm going to be using black beans, and you can use chickpeas or any other kind of bean that you have on hand, but today we're going to be using black beans. And then to top the salad, we are going to be using nutritional yeast to give it like that cheesy flavor. So good. And then some sunflower seeds for crunch, and then we are going to be making a simple tahini dressing, which is so good. Tahini has changed my life. I'm obsessed with it and put it on everything, but it tastes really good on this salad. So those are all of the components. Now that we know everything that's going in the salad, we can move on to the fun part, which is making the salad. So I'm going to start chopping and I will catch you guys after that. Honestly, it's up to you and whatever you think is best for you. So I am going to throw this in the oven, get that quinoa cooking, and then we will have all of our components ready and I will see you back here to assemble the salad. Okay, so I am back a little sooner than I thought. The quinoa is cooking, the butternut squash is baking, and I totally forgot I have to show you guys how to make the tahini dressing. It's super simple. All you need is a tablespoon of tahini some water or lemon juice to thin it out. I prefer lemon juice, I don't have lemon, so we're gonna be using water. And then I like to make mine spicy by adding, by adding cayenne, but you can totally add any spice and make it taste however you want it to taste. So we are going to do that right now. You want your tahini to be like super creamy, but you have to make sure you mix it up each time. So I'm going to take a fork and just mix it up, make sure it's evenly all the same thickness so that's that then we're gonna take our tablespoon get that put it in here 
definitely gonna, it's a little bit messy, but it tastes amazing. So you're gonna get all of that in there. Delicious. All right, like I said, it is a little bit messy, but nothing you can't clean up. So we have a tablespoon of tahini. We are going to drizzle in some water. You don't want to put too much. You always want to start small because you can always add more, but you can never go back if you add too much. So you definitely want to use a fork because you're going to have to like whisk it. It's going to look a little weird, but once you keep whisking and adding water, you're going to get to the consistency that you like. about 40 minutes it's still steaming um, the quinoa is done I did add some seasoning I added some turmeric and some black pepper you can add whatever seasoning you want or you can leave it plain it is totally up to you and then one thing that I did want to mention is that if you are using kale you want to be sure to massage your kale like literally massage it with your hands and you can do that with lime which I did or lemon apple cider vinegar or you can use the dressing but by massaging your kale, you're making, you're breaking it down and making it easier for your body to digest it. And it also makes it taste a lot better because a lot of people don't like the taste of kale and this helps it so much. So that's just a little tip I had for you guys. And now that all of our components are ready, it is time to assemble the salad. So now it's time to top the salad. So I'm going to start with the nutritional yeast. You kind of just sprinkle this all over the top as much as you want. So we're gonna put that on the top. So good. Honestly, this is, this really takes it to the next level. If you don't have nutritional yeast, I really suggest you getting it. It's a great source of B12 and it, like I said, tastes amazing. And then we're gonna take some sunflower seeds. You could also use pumpkin seeds. That would also be very fall. We're just gonna sprinkle those on top. A little bit more, you can never have too much. <laughs> All right, after that, it is time for your tahini dressing. So we're just gonna take this and drizzle it. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? And drizzle it we'll, we'll pour it so we're gonna pour it on our salad so good just all around super yummy and there you have it right there is the perfect fall salad so many components like I said but if you're prepping this for your family I'm sure that they are going to love it. It's something new, it's something different. Fall flavors coming together and it's so healthy and you'll feel so good after eating this. I highly recommend you guys trying it. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and share. Do all those good things. And as always, my Instagram will be down below if you wanna follow me there. And the recipe for this will also be down below. So that is all I have for you guys this time, and I will see you next time.